Hey there, Internet. I am the PC Goblin. I'm really excited to talk to you today about the ingenious Wi-Fi 6 2x2 access point that's the first of its kind out there. This was given to me as a review sample. I wasn't paid for my re review or anything like that. All that happened was they gave me the access point to review and hopefully make a video about it. And I gotta tell you, I really, really like this thing. To start things out, I've already done an unboxing video of it. Um, you can check that out on my channel if you wanna see it, but just real quick, comes in a box like this and you know, brings in the access point. It's about 190 bucks if you were to buy it. I've got links down in the description below if you want to go check it out. And it doesn't come with a wall or ceiling plate that you bolt onto the wall and then stick this thing onto. It does come with a little adapters to hook onto T-rails if you know what those are. And those just, or these just work like that. So you hook this onto your T-rail and then you slide your access point on top of it. And then on the access point, you've got a reset button, you've got a LAN PoE port, and then a DC 12 volt. You can use PoE to power this, or you can use the DC 12 volt. It doesn't come with the DC volt adapter, so you're better off just going off a of PoE, especially if you have a PoE switch. If you don't, you can buy a PoE adapter like this one. I've got this in the link in the description below as well. But if you don't know how to use one of these, you take the cable that's coming off of your switch and plug it into the LAN port right here. And then from there, you take another ethernet cable and plug it into the PoE port and then plug that into the LAN port right here. Now you do want to make sure you're buying the right PoE adapter. There are some that are only 10 100 megabit and then there's some out there that are up to a thousand megabit per second. So if you get a hundred megabit, that's going to really hurt your performance. So moving on, there's not a whole lot to this which, you know, makes a whole lot of sense. It's an access point. You don't want it to be doing a whole lot of stuff up on your ceiling or wall or above your counters or wherever you've got this thing placed. You've got a five gigahertz light. You've got a 2.4 gigahertz light, a network light, and then a power light. You can disable all of these in the settings if you'd like. I'm gonna switch to more of the software side of things and what it can do. So it's a two by two antenna, so it can handle a bunch of clients, but not as much as a three by three or four by four. That doesn't mean this is lacking in any ways. This just means it can't handle as many clients as one of the three by three or four by four style APs or routers that exist out there can do. But this is really convenient as it doesn't have to have a SPOG or single pane of glass interface to manage this device. You don't have to have any other ingenious devices. I don't have any other ingenious devices. All my stuff is ubiquity. To use this, to access this, to get it up and going, all you're gonna do is plug it into your network you know, with a PoE connection or the DC and, you know, plugged into your network as well. Then you're gonna go to the IP address that this thing gets assigned. So you're gonna have to check your router or your switch to figure out where those are. I don't know what setup, what your setup is, so I can't tell you what you're gonna have to do, but you need to figure that out. So you'll take that IP, you'll stick it into your browser, you'll go to that, and then you'll log in with the default username and password. That's admin for the username and admin for the password. And then once you're in, this is what you're greeted with. So just to go through this really quick, you can see what kind of usage it's got. You can see the CPU activity. Then if we come down to where we set up the wireless, we can set up to eight different SSIDs on this, and I've used maximum of one or two in my testing. The reason that I've only used two is I've got all my ubiquity stuff up and going so I just created one for my 5 gigahertz network and one for my 2.4. I've tried I've tried just doing both off of one SSID but I found that I get much better performance if I separate the channels via SSID rather than use band steering which this is capable of. It's got the setting for it but I found that it just works a whole lot better if you separate the SSIDs. Now I've more or less had that same kind of experience with Ubiquiti, but moving on. I use pretty much all the default settings with this. The preferred settings is to give it about a 5 decibel difference in power between the 5 gigahertz and then the 2.4 that you can see right here. I just leave it as auto, performs fantastic, and I get amazing distance out of the 5 gigahertz channel by doing so. If you 
If you're curious about what kind of performance I get out of that, check out my speed test where I compare the iPhone XS Max versus the Samsung S10. And I think you'll be quite surprised at just how fantastic this device performs, but then just how far I can get away from my house by using just the five gigahertz channel. It's, that's unheard of. I cannot do that with my older Ubiquiti stuff. And now they're all 802.11ac, but it just does not perform like this Wi-Fi 6 access point does. So to recap real quick, this device is amazingly powerful. It doesn't handle as many clients as its bigger brother, the 4x4 version of it does, but it is cheaper than that. However, if you have lots and lots of clients, I suggest looking at getting maybe a couple of these or a couple of 4x4s, depending on how many clients you have in your, you know, in your network or in your area. You can have up to eight different wireless networks or eight SSIDs with this thing. And the more of these that you add into your network, you know, the more SSIDs that you can have, or you can just continue the same SSIDs across all of them. But if you do have more than one of these, I suggest you looking at their single pane of glass solution so that you can manage them all on one pane. You don't have to log into them individually. But if you're just looking to increase your bandwidth or just upgrade your Wi-Fi, I really suggest you take a look at just adding one of these APs to your network rather than buying a whole new router. And the reason I suggest that is if you buy a router from Best Buy or whatever, you're paying say 200 bucks for two, 200 different features. Now it's got to do a whole lot more than just what an access point does. It's got to have a Wi-Fi access point built into it. It's going to have a switch built into it. It's going to have a router slash gateway built into it. So it's got to do a whole bunch of different things. Where if you get several devices dedicated to each type of thing that you're trying to handle, you'll get a whole lot better performance. Plus, if you already have a great router, then there really isn't much need to change the router just to get, you know, the newer Wi-Fi or, you know, better Wi-Fi. You can disable the Wi-Fi on your older router, stick in one of these, and then boom, you've now got Wi-Fi 6. It's performing as great as Wi-Fi 6 can possibly perform, and you know, unless you get the 4x4, that will be a little bit better because, you know, it can handle more clients. But rather than spending $200 on a brand new router, that you know does lots of things so the amount of money spent on all those parts is a lot less you can spend that same kind of money on access point and get all the features that you're wanting out of your wi-fi and have better wi-fi and have a better experience so just to summarize my review real quick i really like this thing i'm contemplating ripping out all of my ubiquity ap's and replacing them with maybe just one of these probably the four by four and just running off of that that's how good this one thing is in fact, just switching back to my Ubiquiti stuff, after using this for the last month or two that I have been, I've noticed a speed difference. My phone worked better, I loaded pages faster in a lot more areas of my house just going off of this one access point versus my Ubiquiti access points that I've got set up throughout my entire house. And they're not overloaded, you know, spread out evenly and whatnot. So if you're looking for a new access point or looking to get Wi-Fi 6, I strongly, strongly recommend you check one of these things out. They're easy to set up, they're easy to deploy, and they're easy to manage. And generally, once you've set it up, you never have to log back into it again unless you want to upgrade the firmware because you're running into an issue. Or speaking of upgrading the firmware, the support team over at Ingenious is fantastic. They work with you. I've found a couple of bugs when I was testing this early on and they've squashed those. They updated the firmware for it and now it's even better than it was before. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out my links below if you want to see how much it costs or even pick one up for yourself. But that's just my take on this access point. If you have any questions about it or access points or just want to tell me how the video was, please leave a comment in the section down below. I always try to respond if I can. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you disliked it, well, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. And if you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.